Hello friends, welcome back to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. Let's get started to get better at farming. Now we would have a brief information about the types of hydroponic systems. The first one is the drip system available as the recovery and non-recovery system. Drip systems are probably the most widely used type of hydroponic system in the world because the operation is simple. A timer controls a submerged pump. The timer turns the pump on and the nutrient solution is dripped onto the base of each plant by a simple drip line. In a recovery drip system, the axis nutrient solution that runs off is collected back in the reservoir for reuse. The non-recovery system does not collect the runoff. A recovery system uses the nutrient solution a bit more efficiently as the excess solution is reused. This allows for the use of a more inexpensive timer because a recovery system doesn't require precise control of the wat watering cycle. The non-recovery system needs to have a more precise timer so that watering cycles can be adjusted to ensure that the plants get enough nutrient solution and the runoff is kept to a minimum. The non-recovery system requires less maintenance due to the fact that the excess nutrient solution isn't recycled back into the reservoir. So the nutrient strength and pH of the reservoir will not vary. This means that you can fill the reservoir with a pH adjusted nutrient solution and then forget until you need to mix more. A recovery system can have large shifts in the pH and nutrient strength levels that require periodic checking and adjusting. Now the next comes the wick system. The wick system is by far the simplest type of hydroponic system. This is a passive system which means there are no moving parts. The nutrient solution is drawn into the growth medium from the reservoir with a wick. This system can use a variety of growth mediums like perlite, vermiculite, promix and cocopeat. These are among the most popular. The biggest drawback of the system is that plants that are large or use large amount of water may use up the nutrient solution faster than the wick can supply it. The next comes the water culture or aquaponics. The aquaponic system is the simplest of all active hydroponic system. The platform that holds the water is usually made of styrofoam and floats directly on the nutrient solution. An air pump supplies air to the air stone that bubbles the nutrient solution and supplies oxygen to the roots of the plants. Aquaponic is the system of choice for growing leaf lattice, which are fast growing water loving plants, making them an ideal choice for the system of hydroponic system. Very few plants other than lattice will do well in this type of system. This type of hydroponic system is great for the classroom and is popular with teachers. A very inexpensive system that can be made out of an old aquarium or other watertight containers. The biggest drawback of this kind of system is that it doesn't work well with large plants or with long term plants. Now let's switch on to our next slide. Here we have two types of hydroponic system. One is flood and drain system and NFT system. The flood and drain system works by temporarily flooding the growth tray with nutrient solution and then draining the solution back into the reservoir. This action is normally done with a submerged pump that is connected to a timer. When the timer turns the pump on, the nutrient solution is pumped into the growth tray. When the timer shuts the pump off, the nutrient solution flows back into the reservoir. 
The timer is set to come on several times a day, depending on the size and type of plants, temperature and humidity, and the type of growth medium that is being used. Flood and drain system is a versatile system that can be used with a variety of growth mediums. The entire growth tray can be filled with grow rocks, gravel, or granular rock pool. Many people like to use individual pots filled with growth medium. This makes it easier to move plants around or even move them in or out of the system. The main disadvantage of this type of system is that with some types of growth medium like gravel, grow rocks, perlite, if there is an issue with power outage as well as pump and timer failures, the roots can dry out quickly when the watering cycles are interrupted. This problem can be relieved somewhat by using growth media that retains more water like rock wool, vermiculite, cocopeat or a good soil mix like Promix. Next comes the NFT or nutrient film technique. This is the kind of hydroponic system most people think of when they think about hydroponics. NFT systems have a constant flow of nutrient solution, so no timer is required for the submersible pump. The nutrient solution is pumped into the growth tray, usually in a tube flows over the roots of the plants and then drains back into the reservoir. There is usually no growing medium used other than air, which saves the expense of replacing the growing medium after every crop. Normally, the plant is supported in a small plastic basket with the roots dangling into the nutrient solution. NFT systems are very susceptible to power outages and pump failures. The roots dry out very rapidly when the flow of nutrient solution is interrupted. Now we'll just switch on to our next slide. Last but not the least is aeroponic hydroponic system. Aeroponic system is probably the most high-tech type of hydroponic gardening. Like the NFT system in the previous slide, the growing medium is primarily the air. The roots hang in the air and are misted with nutrient solution. The mistings are usually done every few minutes because the roots are exposed to the air like the NFT system. The roots will dry out rapidly if the misting cycles are interrupted. A timer controls the nutrient pump much like other types of hydroponic system, except the aeroponic system that needs a short cycle timer that runs the pump for a few seconds every couple of minutes. These are the hydroponic types available and used widely. We will be using NFT method to set up our plants as we can take multifold production in the same area of land. Hydroponics offers incredible benefits to people and farmers who love gardening. It is a soilless growing technique that provides a better way to cultivate crops and the crops have better nutritional value than other commonly grown plants. Despite the numerous advantages, hydroponic gardening is often misunderstood in horticulture. In fact, it is riddled with many false beliefs common in the growing community. You will get the explanation of some of the beliefs and separate the myths from reality. So what we understand from these types, hydroponic growing is a method to grow plants in water-based solutions, also known as nutrient solution. This type of farming differs from the traditional method of gardening or farming. There is a good yield of plant varieties without any seasonal demand. In this type of agriculture, we use different types of hydroponic methods to create a variety of plants. There are different types of inert mediums that can be used to grow plants. The best part of using these type of system is that Different types of plants can be grown by creating the ideal conditions. Besides enhanced productivity, the growth rate of plants is also high. Basically, the plants grow due to the nutrients. If we create ideal conditions through
through hydroponics, we can easily grow different plants, varieties, at a much faster rate in any season. Hydroponic refers to the method of soilless farming. Now, we would talk about the hydroponic system that are being misunderstood in horticulture. First, this is a myth that hydroponic technique is expensive. The initial setup cost is considerable. The farming costs are more economical than the conventional techniques. The growing sector has many reusable materials which balances the cost. For small scale farming, it is more viable and affordable option than traditional farming methods. The next myth is hydroponic is hard to practice. The truth is that hydroponic is not at all difficult to practice. There are several hydroponic kits in the market. They have everything you will need to start hydroponic process. The kits include equipment and nutrient solution. The wide range of solutions available makes the process easy and it comes with setup guides. Now, as we have gathered the basic information about hydroponics, in these sessions, we will see the basic requirements we need to set up hydroponic projects. We will cover the land inspection, water inspection and weather inspection. But before we go ahead with the inspection part of hydroponic system let's have a look at each hydroponic systems animated videos separately so we will go ahead on each video separately one by one so we'll end this video here and look into other videos for separate animated versions so thank you and have a nice day goodbye